I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I've got mostly all Sephora VIB sale stuff and then I have two PR packages that will be towards the end of the video for that. I may have to end up filming a video like midweek for haul stuff that I got that was outside the Sephora VIB sale because otherwise this video would be like two hours long. <laughs> but let me go ahead and jump into the things that I got during the sale. I purchased two of the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizers SPF 47. I got the original version and then also the tinted version. Um, the original version has quite a bit of like a white cast to it so I really like to mix it with the Protect and Perfect kind of create a skin tone color. And I use this product every single morning as my daily moisturizer. It's a product that I've used for a really long time and I have really dry skin so this really helps. It's got a lot of hydration to it. I've been purchasing this product for years. I did see on the website that they came out with a version like this with a SPF 30. I was kind of curious about it, but then I was like, I kind of like a higher SPF. So I, I may just to kind of test the formulation out, try the SPF 30, but for now, this is my tried and true SPF 47 from Josie Marin. Love the stuff. I also purchased two of the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Bombs. I got the big guys. These are 100 milliliter or 3.38 fluid ounce tubs. So these are just the best value for money. And I use this moisturizer as my very last step in my skincare routine every single night. I may end up purchasing one more of these before the sale is up just because it's such a good value for money for the amount of product that you're getting um, as opposed to like the normal size version. So I got two of these guys right here. This is not to be confused with the Aqua Bomb. I like the True Cream Moisturizing Bomb. The Aqua Bomb is like thinner, like a jelly type texture where this is like a, a nice thicker type of a cream. So that's the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm right there. And they always have the fun little lids too. And then I also repurchased this Dream Eye Cream from Youth to the People. It's the Goji Stem Cell Ceramides and Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid. It's an overnight eye cream. So I am using this currently at night. I use a thinner serum that has like a retinol alternative to it. And then I put the Neocutis on top of that. And then I go over that with a really thick layer of this. And I've been really enjoying using this kind of like an eye mask. And I do not skimp. <laughs> I do not skimp on skincare. I use a, a decent amount of skincare. I do have dry skin. It comes in a half ounce jar packaging like this, but I really enjoy this kind of like an overnight eye mask. So I did get another one of these because I probably got maybe a tenth of a container left of the other one and I've really been enjoying it. I don't have any extra irritation. I don't get any milia from it, which oftentimes that's what I have to worry about with certain eye creams is getting milia because I am prone to that around the eye area and those things are so hateful <laughs> to get out of your skin. So I really try to use products that don't exacerbate that. So I've really been enjoying this guy from Youth to the People. Again, that's the Dream Eye Cream Goji Stem Cell Ceramides and Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid. Right there. I also purchased the new Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Eyeshadow Palette. This is the newest from Huda Beauty in terms of eyeshadow palettes. It's a really fun neutral kind of eyeshadow palette. It does have tones that are similar to other palettes in her range. I did a separate video on this palette, which I'll link down below where I did side-by-sides of her other palettes and you can see swatches and then also a demo of those products. But I did purchase this during the Sephora VIB sale. So then I purchased a set of lashes from KVD Vegan Beauty. They came out with three new false eyelashes. So I got the dramatic set and based off of what they looked like online, they looked like those real flared out kind that I like to wear. So I got these and I did already trim them. I trimmed off three sections off the end. So let me get them out of the packaging here. This is the box right here. So this is the Style Dramatic. And I cut three little sections off the end to kind of make them flared. And they do look quite pretty, but um, they're not in my top like favorite lash or anything like that. I'll get use out of them since I did purchase them. I guess one could say even though they're called dramatic compared to the ones that I wear that like I like to fly away with, um, they're a little bit more tamed down than that. <laughs> but those are new from KVD Vegan Beauty and those are the dramatic lashes right there. I also purchased the new Tom Ford Extreme Eye Quad and I purchased a ton of like eyeshadow products in this video and I want to get them swatched before the sale ends which is on the ninth, I believe, but quite a few of these I haven't gotten a chance to wear just yet. So hopefully they come across good in like swatches and stuff like that. But anyway, this is a new uh, quad from Tom Ford and it's an 01 Mercurial. And this is the first extreme quad that I've tried. To me, it's just his 
I don't know, his standard baked jelly eyeshadow. I feel similar to Body Heat and Honeymoon. Um, I'm actually going to swatch those two quads next to this one because there's some shades that are similar in there. Um, but this is the Mercurial eyeshadow quad from Tom Ford. It comes in silver packaging, which is really pretty. And then the sleeve is actually a gray. I think I have it stuffed way down in here. Yeah, it's like a gray sleeve on there. And of course, uh, my favorite baked jelly. <laughs> um, I really enjoy the baked jelly quads from Tom Ford. And these ones feel, feel quite nice. I want to drop the applicators. This shade right here is really shiny. Very pretty. really pretty shades there. It reminds me of Body Heat and also kind of of Honeymoon. More so of Body Heat than anything. I'm going to swatch those two quads so you guys can see um, the three of them next to each other. But this one is the new 01 Mercurial quad right here. So here's the 03 Body Heat quad, which is one of my favorites. Like, I don't even, you can barely see the TFs embossed in there, which I like to pretend those are my initials <laughs> because they are, but... These are the swatches for Body Heat right here, which I kind of feel like it's most similar to Body Heat, but... And then here is Honeymoon right here, which is a little bit more warm. Like the top two shades are anyway. So here's Honeymoon, here's Body Heat, and here's the new Mercurial. I almost feel like the, the lighter shades in Mercurial have a little bit more shine to them. But there are some similarities between the three for sure, like in those that kind of burgundy red shade. I also purchased all three of the new Makeup by Mario Glam Quads. So these have four eyeshadows that are .04 ounces per shade and all three of these are made in the USA. The Tom Ford palette is made in Italy and so is the Huda Beauty Naughty Nudes palette. And I have not had a chance to wear any of these quads just yet. There are some really pretty shades in there but hopefully you can tell by those swatches whether or not you want to pick these up. So this is the Rosy Glam quad right here. Typically I try to, you know, use things before I show them, but in this situation there's a sale going on. <laughs> so hopefully you can tell in the swatches. So this one is, again, Rosy Glam right here. And this has got one matte shadow in it, which is this brown. The other three have shimmers. So that one is Rosy Glam. This next one is Bronzy Glam. And with this one, I kind of felt like this first shade, this lighter shimmery kind of one, is a little stiff. It's kind of a thicker formula. All of these uh, quads have got a little bit more of a thicker formula in the shimmers. Um, but the matte shade in here is this brown down here. Yeah, it could be a little bit smoother, that one. So that one is Bronzy Glam right there. And then the last one is the Party Glam one right here. And the matte in here is this blue down in the bottom. Um, that one there is a little bit drier and a little bit more gritty, but you can tell because of the amount of pigmentation that's in it. That's why it's like that. Like when you get a really pigmented, rich, like blue or sometimes some like eggplant purples, they have that kind of a bit of grit to them but it's like super, super pigmented. So this one is Party Glam right here. I'm excited to put these on. There's some really pretty shades in here. So that's the Party Glam, the Bronze Glam, and the, what did I call that first one? Rosy, I think it's Rosy Glam. And those are the new quads from Makeup by Mario right there. 
These next two items were influenced by Dara K on Instagram. Uh, she used to do YouTube videos some time ago underneath Belle Du Jour, and she did like a, a video on, I think it was like an IGTV or the little story things, I, I can't remember which, but it showed her makeup bag and she talked about these two items and I really wanted to try them. At least I think this was the palette. It, it was either this one or the other palette, I can't quite remember, but I really wanted to try this one. And this palette is from Lawless. It's the One Baby Eyeshadow Palette, Talc Free. Eight shades, 0 0.03 ounces per shade. The box packaging is quite pretty. I wish they would have put this image on the actual packaging. But this is like a clean beauty brand and it comes in cardboard packaging. And it's kind of like a nice little one and done eyeshadow palette. There's two shimmers, both a light and kind of a medium shade. And then you've got six matte shades, which some deeper ones, some blend out shades. For me, I would use this lighter shade as a highlight underneath the brow and kind of on the inner portion of the lid. But it's like a one and done. And I have their larger palette and for a clean beauty brand not that that's an excuse or anything but they make pretty nice eyeshadows so let's give you some swatches here these are the two shimmers and I never did get the original the baby one because I thought that those shades were in the larger palette but when I was looking at this one compared to the large palette these are newer shades from what I could tell so that's pretty and then these four. Again, I haven't had a chance to wear this palette just yet, but these are all mattes. Nice pigmentation on there. So that is the one baby <laughs> eyeshadow palette right there from Lawless Beauty. The other item that Dara was talking about was this bronzer from RMS Beauty and it's a luminizing powder and so there's three available and the other two shades look kind of more like highlighters because they just call them like luminizing powders. Um, so this is the bronzer shade and it's the Madeira bronzer um, again from RMS uh, Beauty. It comes in an acrylic style packaging and this thing comes with a ton of product. There's 0.52 ounces or 15 grams of product in this bronzer. And this here is made in, where are you made at? Country of origin, USA. It says on the box, but it's uh, certified organic. And this is the bronzer that I have on my face today. I also wore this in the video with the Huda Beauty palette. And this tone of this bronzer is so pretty. It has a slight sheen to it with a more ready undertone, which is what I really like in a bronzer is that kind of burnt sun-kissed look on my skin tone because I have really pink undertone. This bronzer is really pigmented. Like I just have to tap my brush in there a little bit and a little goes a long way. So with that much product, it's going to last me forever. I really have to watch how much product I pick up because it is really pigmented so let's give you some a swatch here but the tone is such a pretty bronzer like I wish there was one in a little bit lighter version with the same type of a vibe to it same type of tone I can definitely make this work I just have to be careful about it because it's it's very pigmented and I have a, a really light skin tone but the color is so pretty very, very pretty bronzer. So that's the Madeira bronzer from RMS uh, Beauty right there. Then I bought my first Patrick Ta beauty item and I got one of the blushes. This is the Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush. This also comes with a lot of product for a blush. There's 0.37 ounces or 10 and a half grams. And this guy is made in the USA. So here's the box packaging. And I got the shade She's Passionate. This is the blush uh, that I have on my cheeks today and I also wore it in yesterday's video and I really like it. I may um, end up getting one more. It's really hard because I don't feel like the way that this looks in the pan is true to the way it looks online so I'm not sure like which color to get. But here is the She's Passionate right here and it's not a straight matte blush. There's like a little bit of a satin finish to it but not like any visible sparkle or shimmer or anything like that. It's a really pretty color too. I really like it. Super glad that I finally picked one up. I'm totally late to the train on this one but it's like a pink with a dash of coral to it so that is the she's passionate blush right there from patrick ta and the packaging feels really nice and kind of weighted as well it's not like super heavy but there's a little bit of a weight to it which makes it feel kind of luxurious but that's really pretty though Another item that I have on is the Marc Jacobs Iconic Multi-Finish Eye Palette. And this is an 880 Cherryific. Cherryific? 
cherryific. <laughs> it's this guy right here, and I've been looking at this for quite some time, and I was waiting for a sale because either Marc Jacobs' website has a sale or like the Sephora VIB sale um, to pick it up. So I finally got it, and I think the packaging is really cute on there. It's like a little little uh, cherry decal on the front with this green packaging. Um, this guy is made in the USA as well. And then inside, little attention to details, the plastic covering also has the little cherries on it. <laughs> So this is the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes today and I love it. I think that this is going to probably take me through the holidays because it's just, I don't know, it looks really festive and holiday-esque to me and I just really, really like it. The shades are super pretty. The mattes are pigmented and they blend out really well. This shade right here is a little chunky but I use the flat shader to pick it up and then kind of smoosh it on the first part of the lid right there. Um, it does have a little bit of micro glitter in it as does this one right here but those are the two shades that I have on my lid and they just they sparkle so pretty. I'm so glad that I picked this up. I didn't anticipate that I would like it as much as I do but let's give you some swatches here. Again this is what I have on my eyes today and I really like it. It's a one and done palette for me too so I don't have to incorporate any other shades. This is the only shade right here that I didn't use out of the palette for the look today. Otherwise, I used all six of the shades. And then these three. I also hardly had any fallout too, which was great. But that is the Marc Jacobs. 880 Cherific. Cherific. <laughs> Cherific. <laughs> um, eyeshadow palette, which again I've got on my eyes. And then I got one of the little holiday sets from Fenty Beauty. I got the full snap eyeshadow and mini mascara set. It's this guy right here. And I've tried the mascara from Fenty before and it flaked so bad on me. I was like, what in the world? And then it was in the winter time and the girl had thought, cause she had it and she really loved it. And she thought that maybe by chance, the shipment that came in was probably frozen. Cause I mean, we get sub zero, negative 40, 50 degrees in the winter time. So I was like, maybe that is why. So I'm really interested to try the mascara again and see if I have that same problem or not. And then the Snap Eyeshadow palette has got some little festive kind of patterning and it's in a pink. So a little bit different packaging from the other snap shadows, which you can take two of the snap palettes and put them back to back and click them together. So I, I just think it's fun. <laughs> so this is the Holidays snap shadow right here. And this one has got three shimmer shades and three mattes right here. These look like they, they are. They're a little bit more, look, they're a little bit more of that kind of spongy texture interesting so this formula would actually be a new one from Fenty because none of her other palettes have a formula like that in there so let's swatch these shimmers I need to pick what finger I got the gold on it was this one <laughs> and then the red yeah these are spongy kind of thicker spongier type of uh, shadows got some probably dimethicone in there Kind of blend this out a little bit. I need to get some more purple. Whoa. Yeah, they're like got a little bit of a creaminess to them for sure. So those are the first three right there. And then the bottom three, which are all matte. Oh, and these feel super silky. have not had a chance to wear this either but there are the swatches right there of the Fenty Holidays Snap eyeshadow palette and then the mascara that you get is this guy right here I'll try to get it out of the packaging um, it's this one right here then I purchased the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette color-coded eyeshadows in this one is what is it called Bella Sophia I hadn't realized that I didn't have this quad. It's been out for a, a minute, but I don't have this one. And I've got, 
<laughs> fun fact i've got um every charlotte tilbury quad that has ever come out except for like she's double named some they're the same palette but they have a different name now type of deal you know so anyway i didn't have this one and this is the bella sophia <sighs> some like a little fuzzy on the top of mine um all of these shades right here these are like satin satin shimmers i guess i would call them and then here's one of those kind of glittery topper type of a shade I have not worn this either. There's, there just was not enough days in the week between when I got this order and this video. And I really want to swatch this stuff. In case any of you guys want it, you know, for the sale. There was another new quad that came out from Charlotte Tilbury too, like yesterday I think. And some more cream shadows, which I do really like her cream shadows. So I kind of feel like there's a Charlotte Tilbury order coming soon, maybe. <laughs> Those are some pretty shades. Let me grab a little bit more of this lighter shade. It's really blending into my skin. Those are pretty. So that is the Bella Sophia quad right there from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I purchased two fragrances in the kind of trial size version or like the rollerball styles. This one actually has a sprayer. The other one has a rollerball. But I was looking at these fragrances and I really like a vanilla. Um, so I thought I would try these out. This first one is from Juliet Has a Gun. And this is the Vanilla Vibes fragrance right here. And when I first smelt this, I don't get any vanilla. Even when I, I put it on, I, I don't get any vanilla. <laughs> it really smells like a... Um, a beachy, really beachy coconut summertime fragrance. That's kind of what it smells like to me. And it's not a bad fragrance, like I can wear it, but I have to be careful with fragrances like this because if I was like to spritz it on myself and then like jump in a vehicle, I would probably get car sick. <laughs> so it's not really what I was expecting and I don't like, I don't get vanilla out of it, but it says on the back here, um, vanilla meets sea salt. So like sea salt I can get because I get beach like sea salt vibes from this fragrance, but again, no vanilla. <laughs> Um, says created by blah blah blah. Vanilla Vibes is the fusion of two opposites and aphrodisiac natural vanilla twisted with sea salt atmospheric vibes. And I get zero natural vanilla. I don't get even a non-natural vanilla. <laughs> But anyway, that's the Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes fragrance right there. The other one is from The Seven Virtues, which I've never tried any fragrances from this brand. And this is Vanilla Woods. It is a clean fragrance brand. So organic fair trade vanilla essential oil from Madagascar. Organic sugar cane alcohol. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. But um, it was so funny because I was at work when I when I got my package. And I put some of this on and then I read the <laughs> and then I read the sticker on the container and it says best for alleviating stress, calming, soothing the overworked. <laughs> and I was like rolling this all over myself. <laughs> when I first took the cap off of this fragrance, I just like melted. I was like, this is everything that I want. I love it. I want to bathe in it, douse me in it, everything. <laughs> I'm slightly obsessed. I immediately went on the Sephora website and ordered the large size, which I wish it came in a 3.4 ounce, but the largest size is a 1.7. This is beautiful. If you like the a Nick Gutal Nuit et Confidences perfume, which I absolutely love, or the Vanilla del Madagascar perfume from I Profumi de Ferenzi. This one, I love this perfume as well. If you like either of those, you'll love this. It actually reminds me more of the Anit Gutal than it does the uh, Vanilla del Madagascar, but it's that same type of vibe. It's got such a pretty vanilla scent to it. It's not too sweet or sickeningly type of a sweet scent. It's just really, really pretty and I'm obsessed. I, I love it. So this is the rollerball. I really wish this one had the sprayer and the other one had the rollerball because I really just want to like spray it all over myself. But I've just been, this is, this is what I've been doing. <laughs> I've just been going like this with it. <laughs> and I can't wait till the larger size comes because I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful vanilla. So that's the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods um, fragrance right there. And I love it. I love it a lot. I really love it. And then it's also my birthday month, so I was able to pick one little item from their like birthday section, and they had the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Instant Turnaround Moisturizer, which I'm not crazy about, but it had a mini of the Pillow Talk Jewel Lips, um, like lip gloss deal right there. I haven't tried it yet, so this one is in Rose Jewel. And it's like, well, a, yeah, it's like a gloss with a bunch of sparkle in it. 
That is the rose jewel right there. And it came in the birthday set. How fun, a little Charlotte Tilbury mini set. That's everything that I got in from the sale so far. Yes, I did place another order for the perfume and I think I got an Aether Beauty Quad. And there's a couple more items I'm eyeing. I'm I'm anticipating there's gonna be at least one more order <laughs> before the sale's over with. But I did get in two PR packages this week. Um, one is from Pharmacy, which is one of my favorite skincare brands. And this, I just thought this was really nice. It's got like a to and from on there because it's a gift set. It comes with a green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm, which I have gone through endless, endless amounts of that balm. It's one of the best that I've ever tried. Um, and then it has a cheer up brightening vitamin C eye cream and that's a 0.3 ounce fluid uh, jar and the full size is 0.5 so you're getting over half the amount of a full size in the eye cream in here and I've actually been through an entire one of those and I have another one ready to crack open and then it comes with a 0.5 ounce jar of the daily greens and I actually use the daily greens um, it kind of warmed up it we were like in single digits was it last week or like a week and a half ago and then two days ago it was in the 70s I'm like <laughs> I can't keep up. My skin can't keep up. <laughs> so I went back to using the daily greens because it's like a lighter, almost like for me, it's like a serum-y type of a texture and that's how I use it and I use it at night. And then when it got really cold, I used their new honey balm moisturizer kind of one. Honey something? <laughs> but it's their newest moisturizer with a thicker texture and I like that too. I use that right before I put on the Belief. But this is a really nice set from Pharmacy. But this is what I thought was really nice. It says on the little card that came in the PR box. It says, happy holidays. In the spirit of the holiday season, we have donated 50 meals in your name to families in need. We believe in fresh, healthy meals for all. And with your support, Pharmacy has donated the equivalent of 900,000 meals to underserved communities this year. I just really think that's awesome for Pharmacy to do that. So on top of being a really nice, clean skincare brand. And a huge thank you to Pharmacy for sending this over. And a huge thank you for doing the, the meal thing, the donating of the meals. That's just a really, really good deal. And the other PR package I got was from Refer Brushes. They came out with a three brush set for the holidays. And then this set comes in a plastic kind of a case that you can put the brushes in but it also kind of doubles as a brush holder. The other packages that I've got from them, they have the same type of a container but it's a cardboard so this one's like a hard plastic. You can split it apart and set it down and use it as brush holders. You can do the same thing with the cardboard ones but this one is a plastic. Real quick I'll read what it says on their website. It says a limited edition brush set to celebrate the holiday season that includes our three newest brushes that ship in a reusable brush holder. So the brush 23, it says the smaller sibling of our flagship brush 03 and that retails for $24. The brush 24 which is ultra soft dense and a more substantial version of the popular brush 05 which I can attest to that I love that 05 brush. Um, and then the brush 25 the new and improved version of brush 11 which is undoubtedly the most requested refer brush of all time. Um, that one retails for $130. The brush 24 retails for $62. So the whole set retails for $216, but they have it on offer for $116 right now. And for handmade Japanese brushes, that's a really good deal. Um, the refer brushes remind me the most of Hakahoto brushes. Um, so like the ever infamous Tom Ford bronzer brush, which used to retail for, I think it was 120. I actually purchased a backup of it when I found out that they were redoing their brush line. So you can no longer get a brush like this. I love this brush. Um, there, the refer number 22 brush is the closest thing that I have in my entire brush collection to the Tom Ford bronzing brush. So um, this is this one isn't in the set, but I'm just comparing like the quality of the two because they are very comparable. So this is the 22 brush from Refer right here. And then here's the Tom Ford. So they're, they're definitely a dupe for each other and they're a dupe for each other not only in the kind of the size of the head of the brush and stuff but also in the quality. And the older Tom Ford brushes were made by Hakuhodo. So again, the refer brushes remind me the most of Hakuhodo brushes, just kind of their styles and the, the bristles and stuff like that. Um, but they're very nicely made, Jap handmade Japanese brushes. And when you dive into the realm of handmade Japanese brushes, things get really expensive really quickly. <laughs> so I do feel like this set is a really good deal, but this is one of my favorite brushes from Refer. This is the 22 brush, which is a dupe for the Tom Ford bronzer brush. So the brushes that come in their new set, this new holiday set, are these ones right here. So here is the 24, 
which I used to put on blush today. This is such a multi-purpose brush because of the size. Um, you can use it to contour and bronze and really blend out because it gets kind of fluffy. You can use it uh, precisely for like highlighter because there's a little bit of a tip to it. And you can also use it as blush kind of on the side. It has a really good multi-purpose to it. And then here is the 25 brush. It's a longer type of a powder brush. Like the bristles are really long. It has a lot of uh, give to it. So a brush like this is something that I like to use with like the Guerlain meteorite So I dip it in there and just use it to really buff the meteorites all over the skin That's my favorite way to use a brush like this and then here is their itty bitty 23 brush If you're looking for a super fine very soft pencil brush This is the mini brush for you What I like to use this brush for is I don't like to like pile on like foundation to cover up Like if I have a spot or something like that I like to finish all my makeup and then after the fact I go with a powder foundation like I've got this um, pure powder foundation right here and I use a brush like this to dip into the powder foundation like I had a little bit of a discoloration spot right here so I would just pinpoint it like this to, to cover up that redness so that I don't have extra coverage all over the face. That's how I use a little brush like this. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people like to use uh, pencil brushes to smoke out the lower lash line, but this is itty bitty. This is a little tiny itty bitty brush that's very, very soft. The brown refer as a whole is a good way to try handmade Japanese brushes without like breaking the bank because again, <laughs> it can get really expensive really fast, but this is their holiday set right here. And as always, a huge thank you to Refer Brushes for sending these over to me. I, I love and use a lot of their brushes. And that is everything for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen. Stay safe out there and I will see you guys later. Bye.